Hi guys, James at Rampant Line Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Germany once again and this is another one of the beers that I brought back with me from my recent trip over to Munich. So for this one we're going to do a second review from Munich Brew Mafia. So this one is called the Smoky Habemus eh, Cerveciam Double. So I think it will be a, it's supposed to be a smoked Belgian Dubel this one. It comes in at 6.8% ABV and uh, yeah, it should be quite an interesting beer. This was one that I got, I believe, at uh, Beervana in the city, if I'm remembering correctly. And it was one that just caught my eye and I thought a smoked Dubel sounds like it will be a really quite interesting beer. The last beer I reviewed from these guys was the Don Limon, which was a really, really nice Citra kind of Pilsner style beer. And I really enjoyed that. So I do have high hopes for this one. So I as always, I hope you enjoy my take on this beer. So anyway, as is usual with my reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, of course, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my other reviews that I've done from Munich Brew Mafia before. Hopefully I can do some more in the near future. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel, of course, has a geography-based tagging system, so you can go into the home page and search for beers based on country, city or state. Whatever it is you're interested in do check out the playlist of beers from different countries there is one there for all the german beers that i've reviewed for you and that's constantly being added to and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review it's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support you show the channel is hugely appreciated and if you are particularly interested in german beers do please make sure you check out my friend Peter over at The Clueless Drinker. He's got some really, really nice videos over there and I'll put the link to his channel in the description below as well. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Munich Brew Mafia then. So as I've told you before, Munich Brew Mafia was founded in early 2016 by Dario Stieren and Niklas Serhoch, both of whom work in the Tap House bar near Ustbahnhof in the city. One of the best craft beer bars in Germany apparently and I certainly enjoyed it when I got to visit it. But the guys have been friends since the age of 13, having met each other at a youth centre and they started their brewery together in early 2016. Both apparently had worked in nightclubs and in the catering industry for a number of years but they jumped at the chance to work at Tap House because they basically just got bored of making cocktails and things like that and they really wanted to learn more about beers and the craft beer industry. So Dario studied brewing at the Weinstefan Institute at part of the Technical University of Munich of course and he's been a working student for the Geisinger Brauerei as well while Niklas is actually studying for a bachelor's degree in history and sociology. But the first beer they produced was a Citra Hot Pils. This was the Don Limon, which you saw me review a few videos back. And they say that they produce, wanted to produce a Pils because the, the market was kind of saturated with IPAs and things like that already. And a lot of people rate that uh, Don Limon beer very, very highly. And I have to say, I enjoyed it as well. But they called the company Mafia because they say they always wanted to be kind of pushing the boundaries of beer styles and, uh, and things like that. And they always said that in the old stories and things like that, the Mafia are always kind of pushing, bu pushing boundaries of what crime is and all of this kind of thing so quite an interesting name and they do seem to be getting a lot of plaudits around the city of Munich I think they've produced about 10 or so different beers maybe 12 something like that if you go and check out their rate beer page you can see all the different ones that they've done but the Don Limon is probably their, uh, their best known one at the moment but I'm looking forward to trying this one and like I say this was another one that was recommended to me by the guys at Beervana in Munich so yeah should be a really interesting one to try so that's all you need to know about the brewery just now as I said all the links and stuff are in the description below so you can have a little look at that if you want to learn more about this brewery but that's a nice little summary for you so yeah I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork then before we open up as I said the smoky uh, Habemus Cerveciam which should be a really nice one, the Dubel beer. It's supposed to be a smoked Belgian Dubel. Comes in at 6.8% ABV. It's a plain bottle cap on this one, incidentally, rather than the one that was on the Don Limon, which had uh, the the Munich Brew Mafia symbol on it. I do have to admit, I do certainly do like their logo that they have there. I really like that. Um, so hopefully they can keep that up and put that on all their bottle caps. But really nicely presented beer, this one. And it says it is best before the 12th of 2017 so yeah should be a really interesting beer let's get it out and get on with the tasting then I'm not sure if Peter has actually reviewed any of these beers from Munich Brew Mafia I kind of just I go on his channel really and just watch videos I'm like oh that beer sounds interesting and uh, and watch that it, because you're not so familiar with the breweries and things like that it is a little bit harder to keep track of exactly what he's reviewing but he's got some really uh, great reviews 
of these new wave German craft beers. And I have to say, I'm quite jealous of him living over there in Germany just now while there's this whole kind of uh, mini craft beer boom going on over there. It's really interesting to see how the Germans, you know, with such a kind of brewing expertise are taken to brewing these new American beer styles. And some of them are starting to produce some Belgian style beers as well, which is very interesting. So yeah, as you can see, this beer's poured a really quite dark, uh, murky orange. It's maybe even got a little tint of red to it. There's a quarter finger of frothy kind of cream coloured head to this one, one or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there but overall it looks really quite nice. The beer is actually quite hazy as well which is uh, which is really interesting and uh, yeah well, most Belgian beers are quite hazy but it certainly looks a little bit um, kind of more orangey than some of the Dubels I've come across before. Most of the Dubels that I've seen have been this kind of dark uh, almost chestnutty kind of mahogany colour actually. Uh, but this one definitely has a bit more of a nice dark orangey note to it. But yeah, it should be a really nice beer. So let's take a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on. Now that's really unusual. So with this one, what you're going to notice straight away, you can pick up the nice kind of smoky notes. It's definitely more of a meaty smoky character that comes off this one rather than the peaty smoke that you often get with the Scottish smoked beers. But with this beer... It's got that kind of herbal, medicinal thing that you expect of the Belgian Dubel. You can pick up some of the nice kind of caramel notes. It's got a slightly kind of dark, uh, treacly character coming out of it as well. There's some woody and kind of nutty undertones, but that mixes in with this kind of almost roast, hammy, meaty, smoky character that's coming out of the beer. Probably by going by the aroma of this one, I would reckon they've used the Bamberg Rauch malts. Just, just going straight off the aroma. As you'll know, I absolutely love smoked beers and that was what made me get this one. I thought a smoked Belgian Dubel sounded really interesting. Schlenkerla, of course, was where my whole kind of love of beer uh, started off. But with this, it's just really unusual. Some woody and nutty notes. You can pick up some of that kind of doughy, uh, belgian -y brown bread yeast character that you'd expect to the Dubel. There's some nice caramel in there. It's a bit toasted, actually, as well but you can pick up some of these herbal medicinal notes that you expect to the style too. There's maybe a little touch of red fruit as well, but really not that much. The smoky character really kind of um, just bashes that down a little bit. The smokiness kind of dominates the aroma in some ways, but you can get all the complexities that you would expect from the Dubel, apart from maybe just a little bit of that kind of red fruity note. There's maybe just a little touch of a kind of candied red fruit ester, but really uh, not all that much. But it smells really quite interesting. So as I always say, take a little bit of time and go over the aroma of your beer because it is always half the experience when it comes to whiskey and craft beers and things like this. Just take a little bit of time and enjoy that aroma. But yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into this beer then. So this one is the Smoky Habemus Cerveciam, a smoked Belgian Dubel style beer from Munich Brew Mafia over in the city of Munich in Germany. Slange, Prost. That's really unusual, actually. I'm not so sure. I mean, going by the flavour of the beer, I'm not so sure it fits into the Belgian Dubel style. But I have to say, I do actually quite like it. There are elements of the Belgian Dubel in there, but to me, it comes across as a... I'm not even sure what this comes across as. It's a really big, kind of bready, yeasty beer. And at the same time, it's got that nice, kind of German Rauch malty character. The Dubel, of course, it, if you think about the difference between the Dubel and the Quadrupel, they're the ones that are quite related in terms of flavour profile. The Quadrupel is always this big, dark, almost treacly, boozy beer. The Tripel, of course, is the kind of lighter version of that, but then the Dubel is a little bit more bready, and it does have that bready element to it, but it doesn't have the same kind of red fruitiness and sort of a... Uh, it does have a little bit of the herbal quality, but the smoky characters in this one do kind of dominate it a little bit. But yeah, it's really interesting. I can see why they would want to experiment with this. A smoked Dubel is quite an interesting thing. 
what I would say about it is maybe to actually bring it, it, it really does seem as if it's more dominated by the smoky character rather than anything else. It's a good beer. But a smoky Belgian Dubel, perhaps, the, the thing with the smoke beers is that, you know, when you have a smoky beer, the smoke dominates pretty much everything. The smoky, even if you have like a smoked Imperial Stout or something, the smoke is something that really just punches its way out of the beer. And with the Dubel one, I would say maybe, I'm not sure a smoked Dubel would work, but maybe a smoked Quadrupel would be a really interesting thing. And I mean, it certainly tastes nice, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're calling it a smoked dubel, you do expect just a little bit more of the dubel, and I think the smoke, unfortunately, just dominates this one again. It's, it's it's drinkable. It's a nice beer, but just you know, if we're talking, if we're reviewing it and talking about the styles and things like that, that's something we do need to talk about as well. Hmm. It is certainly an interesting one, and this is kind of what you want when you're a YouTube beer reviewer of course you want to try things that are going to test your palate a little bit but it's certainly a nice beer I would love to see them take this idea and do it with a quadruple instead of a dubel because I think with the with the, the dubel and the quadruple you do expect a little bit more of that kind of brown sugary note and I think just the smoke notes that come out of this beer they just dominate the dubel part of the beer I think it would work a lot better if you tried it with a quadruple so hopefully that's something they do consider trying actually but yeah, with this one, let's go over the flavours then. I've rambled on enough. But there's this kind of light, sort of bready character. It goes right across the middle of your palate. It's a kind of brown bready note. You can feel a little bit of that kind of thicker, uh, doughy Belgian yeast coming out of the beer. There's a little bit of a kind of, <coughs> pardon me, slightly caramelly, biscuity character, but really it's more of a bready thing. As I said, that's what you expect from the Dubel. The Dubel is more of a kind of big, bready, doughy, yeasty sort of thing. You start to get the more boozy and caramel notes when you move up to the Tripel and the Quadrupel, of course. But with this one, it's just nice and bready. There's a wee bit of biscuity sweetness in the middle of your palate, and the kind of meaty, smoky notes are just infused in with that. As you go further into the aftertaste, you start to get this little bit of a kind of a woody character coming out. There's a wee bit of an almost vanilla note coming out of this beer as well. Yeah, there's a sort of woody a vanilla note coming out of this one, which is interesting. On the sides of the palate where you're going to get the hoppy kind of things, you can pick up a wee bit of earthiness in the back corners of the palate Then, as you come along the sides of your tongue, there's this sort of herbal and kind of a slightly floral character, but mainly a kind of herbal, almost medicinal type note. That is something that you can expect of the Dubel a little bit. As you go around the front curve of the palate, that sort of herbal medicinal quality does stay, but you get just a little bit more of a kind of lighter, grassy flavour as well. And if you go just behind the front curve of the palate, that's where, where, as I always tell you, this little oily bubble comes out and you start to get some of these nice kind of fruity esters coming out of the beer. Yeah. With this one, there is a wee bit of that there. There's a sort of kind of candied red fruit note coming out of this one. Maybe even a little bit figgy. There's nothing really sharper than that. I think it's figs. And just as you move further into the flavour, it starts to get a little bit more like a sort of candied uh, kind of red fruity flavour as well. But it's a really quite nice... Uh, Quite nice smell, tasting beer. This one, not as nice smelling beer, <laughs> nice tasting beer. And um, but I think just the, the smoky notes to this one, they're just a bit too strong or just a bit too dominating uh, in comparison to the uh, to the to the the Dubel notes that they want to bring out the beer. I think this idea would work very well with a quadruple. I've said that a couple of the times. And there's nothing wrong with this beer. There's nothing that says, oh, you know, it's a terrible beer or a bad beer or anything like that. I do think the smokiness is just more of a is just the more kind of dominating component of the flavour. I wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. I would love to try it on tap and see if it's a little bit different. And it is a nice beer, but I, I really quite like the smoky beers. But if you're wanting to do a kind of hybrid style like this, I do think both uh, both sides of the coin have to get their hearing, if that makes sense. And it just leans a little bit too much, too much towards the smoky side of things. But it's a good beer, and you can tell that it has been kind of well-crafted, if that makes sense. In terms of the mouthfeel of this one, then, I think it's fair to say this one's maybe a bit more full-bodied. It's got a big oily mouthfeel. The carbonation is really quite smooth on this. The malt base is interesting. It's very smooth, but you do get a little bit of kind of sweetness out of it. The hops are very smooth as well with this. It's a kind of herbal character that comes out of this one more than anything. And there is just a little element of that fruity, juicy character as well. But overall, it's certainly an interesting beer and an interesting concept. 
but I think in terms of being a smoked bluebell, it really just leans a little bit too much towards the, uh, the the smoky side of things than the bluebell side. I would love to see them try this with a quadrupel or a tripel could be an interesting experiment as well. I do think you've got to just have a little bit more of that uh, big boozy kind of yeasty character that you expect of a Belgian beer. This one does have it to some degree, but I think it doesn't have the the kind of caramel note. I think that the key to building the bridge in this style would be that big uh, boozy kind of caramel note that you get from the tripel and the quadrupel. But it's an interesting concept and it's cool to see that they are experimenting in this way. So I would like to see them try this with one of the other two uh, bigger and boozier Belgian beer styles. But it's certainly been an interesting one to try and as always I hope you guys have enjoyed my take on this beer. I'd love to try it again and uh, on tap and just see if it's any different. But it's been an interesting one to try and I hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this beer. So yeah, once again thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Do let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comments section below if you've tried it for yourself. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Munich Brew Mafia as well. Hopefully I can try a few of their other things at some point in the future. But it's been really interesting to try this one. It certainly has tasted my palate a little bit. And I do hope they try this experiment with some of the bigger and more boozy Belgian beers just to see how that turns out. But a really interesting beer and I'm glad that I was able to review it for you here on the channel. So until the next time, slander just now and I will catch you guys very soon. This was the Smoky Habemus Cerveciam from Munich Brew Mafia over in Munich in Germany. Prost.